Hey y'all, today we're making boneless barbecue ribs in the crock pot. <laughs> so first you need to put your boneless ribs in the crock pot and we are going to add a half a can of Dr. Pepper and a little smoky steak seasoning as well. And then you're gonna pop the lid on, you're gonna either cook this on low for seven hours or high for four hours. Once your ribs are almost done cooking, get started on your homemade barbecue sauce. And we are making a Dr. Pepper barbecue sauce. Sounds good, right? <laughs> First, you gotta start with ketchup and some Worcestershire sauce, or what's this here sauce, as I like to say. <laughs> and we're gonna add a bunch of goodies. I have some brown sugar, some onion powder, garlic powder, and of course, plenty of salt and pepper. And the final ingredient and most important ingredient is the rest of that can of Dr. Pepper. You're gonna whisk this together really well and simmer for about five minutes. Once your ribs are done cooking, place those on a wire rack on top of a sheet pan. And I lay my sheet pan with aluminum foil, that way I don't have a big mess later. So that's a little tip. And you're just going to baste this barbecue sauce all over the ribs, flip them over, do the other side, and those are going in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. Once you've done that, put some more barbecue sauce on top, flip them, and more barbecue sauce on the bottom, and then they go back in the oven for another 15 minutes. Once you're done, you're gonna add more barbecue sauce on top of these beautiful ribs, and you are ready to serve. And I recommend mac and cheese. <laughs> I just love mac and cheese with ribs. And these are so good, they fall apart, they're saucy and delicious. As always, make sure you like and follow my page, Keeping It Real, for more recipes and videos.